PS46 is your school authority and 22,000 violations. That's how many speeders went through a school zone in the city of South Fulton just the first week that school started back up. That's right, and as CBS 46's Melissa Stern reports, even more speed detectives devices will be active this coming weekend. If you're speeding through school zones in the city of South Fulton, these devices could cost you. I've gotten five tickets that range from 175 to 200. So right now I have $850 worth of tickets. Those who pass Seaborn Lee Elementary School on Scarborough Road might have noticed this speed detection device. They're called Janiah Major Speed Enforcement Cameras. This was the legislation that uh, we put in place in memory of her. An 11 year old was killed in front of Sandtown Middle School in a car accident back in 2018. And when you talk to some of the relatives, you know, their concern was when she was picked up from school and they did a turn out of the school parking lot, there were no flashing lights, there were no type of uh, traffic calming device that would have alerted um, anyone that they were in a school zone and um, they should slow down. Now there are 16 in fact. We have to also look out for the safety of our children going through the school zone. Only the one in front of Seaborn Lee Elementary School has been active since it was installed in December. But soon the warnings from the others will become more costly. Effective Thursday, all of the cameras will be issuing fine. The speed limit is 25 miles per hour when flashing and 45 when they're not. They flash an hour before school starts up until an hour after school starts and they start an hour before school ends and an hour after school ends. Those who fail to slow down could face up to $125 in fines. Melissa Stern, CBS 46 News.